Hello there, everybody. <clears throat> Happy Monday. Um, welcome to our Sunrise Manifesting Monday meditation. And we are broadcasting this week from Bell Buckle, Tennessee. And as you can see behind me, it's a very snowy morning. It's very cold. It's in the teens, which is quite cold for this part of the world. Um, and right behind me is east. So if there is a sunrise to see, we will see it there. But our intention is to begin our day with the sun. Now we are a global audience, so for everyone it might not necessarily be the actual sunrise time, but it's the intention and the attention and the deliberately creating a beginning, a beginning of a moment, a beginning of a day, a beginning of a week, a beginning of a new moon cycle, any time that we can on purpose, sort of let everything go and start fresh in every single moment. This is how we really wield our power as co-creators in this universe. Hello, summer star, Dallas has snow. That's fabulous. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, so summer says she, summer star um, says that she, I think that's a female name, I'm not positive. They climbed back into bed. <laughs> that would be tempting. It's a little chilly right next to this window on the floor, but it's absolutely okay. We are accompanied by spirit and everything's going to be amazing. So please do say hello. Say where you're from on the planet. Um, I think Dallas is central time. So we're, Summer and I are in the same time zone. Um, and yeah, because I always love celebrating when we are touching all parts of the globe. And I'm in the process of heading off on a traveling journey. So at the moment, I'm pet sitting for 10, actually 12 animals, if you count the fish, for my family who are all off on a cruise. And then as soon as they return on the 24th, I'll be heading down to Costa Rica and spending at least the month of the last of January and the month of February there, possibly longer, but then maybe on to Peru or possibly to the Yucatan. And then in the spring over to the UK and Ireland and Scotland and exploring that part of the world. So be sure to click the follow button wherever you are so that you get notifications when we're doing these live events from all over the world. And in the cases where I don't have the technology, the connection, the connectivity to actually be able to do the lives. I will be documenting in video, in stories, in photos. So be sure to stay in touch with me on the YouTube channel, wherever you can to be able to keep up with all of this. And you'll also be notified when there are new meditations posted to Insight Timer. Um, be sure to check out the Happy and Free on Purpose Life course. On Insight Timer, it's 21 days, kind of similar to what we're doing today, in that there's a little short lesson and some journal exercises, life exercises, and then a short meditation at the end of each lesson. So you can complete this in 21 days, 21 weeks, 21 hours, however it feels good to you to really embrace your power to manage your intentions, manage your perspective, and to be the co-creator, the deliberate co-creator of your life. So happy and free on purpose, meaning deliberately and also according to your own unique purpose that you will find by spending time in meditation and in communication with your heart, with your creator, with your highest self right? Yes, I am so very excited about my travels. Hello, Ari Vashin. Welcome back. Um, okay, so one of the things that occurred to me this morning is exactly what do we mean by manifesting? So are we able to open up our hands and um, create a turtle dove in the palm of our hand? 
I believe that this is possible, but the mass consciousness of life on this planet does not believe in magic of that kind. So what is truly happening in our everyday lives is that everything that you want, everything that you desire, everything that is good and beautiful and happy and pure and free is already here. So when we are manifesting something, it has the appearance of causing that to happen, but then there's also the idea that it was happening already. What we're doing is adjusting our perspective, adjusting our outlook, paying attention to what we are looking for so that we are allowing in all of the things that have already manifested. So we could call this very much the, um, the um, allowing Monday meditation, um, but alliteration is fun. So manifesting Monday is fun. Yes, Semestar, it is already done. Good morning, Paula. Isn't it beautiful where I am today? I am very much looking forward to weather that permits me to actually be in this place instead of just looking at it. But uh, 16 degrees and an inch of snow on the ground is too cold for me to be sitting on the floor. Um, a summer start, the law of attraction, yes. Um, she is asking if I follow the law of attraction. Um, the, that's a very kind of simplified term, but yes, absolutely. The law of attraction is the act of attracting what you are, right? We, that there's a lot of, of wording around the law of attraction and that, that that's one of the kitty cats that I am pet sitting, who's had many names, but finally they just settled on calling him Kitty. <laughs> and uh, he, he's usually very standoffish, but since I'm the person who is providing the food at the time, he's become much friendlier. So anyway, um, there is there's wording that says you get what you think about, which is oversimplified. Because you can think about money. I want money. I desire money. I want abundance. And in a way that is the vibrational match to the opposite of that. To So you are actually vi vibrating in the frequency of the lack of money. Whereas if you put yourself into a mindset, a perspective of, as someone said, I, th I think some of the, it is already done, that I am abundant, I am an appreciation of everything that is around me, then you become a vibrational match to abundance and this is what must happen for you. Um, so you don't necessarily attract what you think about, you attract what you are, right? And so this is everything that we are talking about in, in regards to manifestation. If there's something that you want in your life, get yourself in the vibrational position of already having it. And one of the tricks to that is that if you think about the things that you want and the reasons that you want them, everything that we want in this physical plane is because we believe that the having of it will make us happier. And the truth is that when we become happy, the name of my business is Be Happy First, then all of those things will come to us. So when you are saying, well, I'll be happy when I find my lover, I'll be happy when I have more money in the bank, I'll be happy when I lose weight, I'll be happy when outside circumstances change, you are giving away your power and doing the opposite. You are striving and struggling and going against the current in order to get the things that you want. Whereas if you understand the feeling that you are seeking in the having of that and go ahead and feel that anyway in the present moment, that's the power of manifestation and the actual law of attraction, right? So, and, you know, the, the law of attraction is just one of several universal laws. There's the law of giving and receiving. There's the law of um, gender. There's the law of gestation, meaning that on this planet, it, it takes more or less nine months to grow a human child. This is 
a, a fact of this physical existence. And when we have ideas, we have um, projects or businesses or relationships that we want to give birth to, each of these is going to need a period of growth. And our job is to be patient and to be in the expectation that everything is per working out according to divine timing. Everything is evolving and arriving in our lives at exactly the right time for our greatest good and for the greatest good of all. That this absolutely fabulous, all-powerful, wonderful, magical universe absolutely has the power to give you what you want and me what I want without either of us experiencing any lack or any separation, right? So having faith is the thing. All right, so let's go ahead and go into our meditation for today. So your donations are always very, very welcomed and appreciated, and I'm so grateful for them. They help to offset the cost of all of this travel and exploration and um, the sacred experiences that I am seeking to learn about and share with you. Um, never expected, but always, I'm always so grateful. Um, and I think that's all the stuff. Now, if this is your first time meditating with me, um, there are specific things that I say before meditation every single time. If you've been here many times, you already know. So just go ahead and get in your favorite meditation position that feels good to your body. And this is the important thing. Your body is unique. And the way that I am sitting could be terribly uncomfortable for you. You may have limitations in your body that make it feel better to lie down on your side, on your back, on your stomach. You can stand up. You can sit in a chair. You can do whatever feels the best to your body because the power of a strong spiritual practice is to return to it every single day and to be in the habit of filling yourself up with peace and serenity and teaching yourself to be an actor and a responder instead of a reactor at the mercy of life circumstances and being buffeted around by the, the whims of culture, the whims of other people, the whims of the weather, right? None of these things have the power to dictate your feelings, your response, your perspective without your permission. And when you spend time each day in meditation and in connecting with your highest self, with your source, you exercise the muscle of pausing and choosing your response. And you learn to recognize the voice of spirit and the voice of ego and to be able to tell those apart and to make discerning decisions about what you're going to do next, right? So we are, we are all sovereign, we are all divine, immortal, completely autonomous beings that get to decide and choose however we, we, we want. But if you are hearing the voice of your highest self of spirit and you're hearing the voice of ego and you are making the conscious decision to respond from a place of love and compassion in your highest self instead of reacting, lashing out, having resentment, having judgment, all of these things that come from the ego side, each and every time that you make that decision, you create more space within who you are for everything that you desire. You create more space for the light of our source to fill you. You can choose to listen to the voice of ego. You can choose to argue. You can choose to push back. You could choose to do whatever you want. This is the beauty of being in these amazing human experiences is that we get to be the captain of the ship and we get to make new choices for ourselves in every single moment. So all of that said, hello Priscilla and welcome from Florida, first time meditating. Okay, so summing up where I am right now is honor your body first, ahead of my instructions, ahead of my directions, ahead of anything that anyone else tells you, your body has so much wisdom 
And if you are comfortable and feeling amazing in your meditation, you are much more likely to return to it each and every day and strengthen your connection to spirit, strengthen your connection to your highest self, strengthen your power to be a chooser and a responder and not a reactor. All right, so having said all of that, how's this? I think it's too snowy for there to be an actual sunrise, but we have faith that it's happening right behind me. You are, if you're looking at me, you're facing east. Okay, so get in your favorite meditation position. If you are comfortable creating a straight line between your sit bones and the crown of your head, this is a beautiful symbolic imagery of the conduit that you are of spirit connecting this earthly plane. And there's also your central channel that follows this path. This is an energetic path that's pretty much aligned with your spinal column. That is how you are receiving and processing and allowing the flow of energy through your body. And so you can close your eyes and imagine this column of energy and look at it with your mind's eye and see is it beautiful and flowing and golden and feeling expanded and unlimited and free or does it feel sticky does it feel as if there are glitches in your energy if there's static around the edges of your energy and then you can consciously use your will your intent and your imagination to literally smooth out this channel to like like doing Reiki on your own central channel and smoothing out the edges and strengthening the areas where the flow is weak and smoothing out the areas where it's staticky or frantic so that you have this visual image of a beautiful flowing channel of energy through the center of your body that is now equipped and calibrated and aligned to be the source of energy and healing and life for every cell in your body, for all of the energy around you, for all of the space that you occupy. We always begin and end each meditation with three long, slow, deep breaths together. And your work in these beginning breaths is to celebrate the miracle of breath as you are breathing in and imagine this magical, substance that is immortal, that has always been here, that will always be here, sending love and light and nourishment to every cell of your body. With each exhale, you're letting go of everything that doesn't serve you. You're bringing yourself with each breath fully present, letting go of all regrets from the past, letting go of all worries about the future, bringing yourself fully present in this moment where all of your power is. All right, the first breath in. And release. Next breath in. Release. Magical third breath in. And release. Relax into a steady and conscious but natural and normal feeling rate of breathing. Having a little celebration with each inhale. Letting your body relax even more with each exhale. Feeling yourself fully present in this beautiful, amazing body. So we're called today to go on a journey that will allow you to have a God's eye view of your life. That will allow you to step so far back that every struggle, 
every challenge, every heartache, all of your troubles appear to be tiny and minuscule and unimportant. Let's begin first by grounding into your body and feeling your connection to the earth understanding that you are a sovereign being, that you are always supported and nourished and loved by the earth that your body came from. Feel how solid, feel how grounded, feel how surrounded and warmth and love you are from the earth. Now take some deep breaths and imagine that you are inflating your body, that you are creating space within your body between all of your cells, between all of your muscles, even in the marrow of your bones. So that while you are this beautiful, solid, amazing, grounded human body, at the same time you are an infinite spirit not bounded by this flesh, not confined in any way, able to share your power, your light, your experience as far out into the universe as you choose. And feel how free you are. Feel, feel how expanded you are. Feel how much room there is for love and light and growth and expansion and healing to fill your physical body, to fill your energetic space. Just take a moment to celebrate this union of body and spirit, understanding that while you are perfectly grounded and safe, you are also perfectly free and untethered. And the immortal spirit that is you has the ability to travel anywhere you choose. Your body provides safety and security and groundedness, but never is your prison, never traps you, never confines you, always supports and serves you. I imagine now that you are floating a few feet above your head. You're looking down. You can see this beautiful body. You can see this beautiful, safe, amazing body in whatever position it's in. You can witness your surroundings, witness what's in the room, witness the care that you have taken or not with your environment. Be appreciative of all the beauty that you see. Feel the magic of this powerful being that's able to see millions of things all at once with no effort. You can see the tiniest fiber in the sweater that you're wearing. If you have candles lit, if you have crystals, everything that you can see, you can see in the most minute detail this very small world that you are look on, looking down on that's really only three or four feet around you. Just embrace the power to witness everything that you see here. Imagine that you are rising up and your bird's eye view now encompasses the entire building that you are in. You can see everything, you can see every room, you can see every person, every creature, every minute detail of this building that you are inhabiting, that you've chose to be in. Or if you're outside in nature, witness all of the space around you, 50 yards in every direction. It's beautiful, amazing space in the center of which is your beautiful, sacred, divine body. Now, as you are soaring above, you are expanding and occupying all of this space. So everything that is not physical, 
in the space that you're observing is you. You are all powerful. You are inhabiting every atom, every bit of space in this body, around this body, and every cubic square inch of air in between. You can float around, you can soar around, you can imagine yourself on wings or completely disembodied and just enjoying the feeling of absolute freedom of being untethered and able to witness anything you choose. Let yourself float higher, all the way to the edge of the atmosphere. And before you is all of Earth, and above you is all of space. And as you look down on Earth, you can see your entire life. From the day that you were born, all the way to the day that you will leave this body, all the way beyond that to infinity. You can see before you were born all the way back to the beginning of time from where your immortal spirit began, maybe at the Big Bang. There's so much in this universe that we don't understand and are not meant to understand. We are meant to have wonder. We are meant to seek. We are meant to embrace the journey of expanding our minds, of expanding our knowledge, of embracing this experience as a human being while understanding that we are so much more than this teeny tiny little segment of the journey of this universe that represents this human life. And so from this viewpoint, being able to see forever in every direction Feel the understanding that everything is always working out exactly as it's meant for your highest good, for the highest good of the universe, for the highest good of every living being on this planet, on all the planets, in our galaxy and all the galaxies, to the far edges of the unimaginably immense universe. The human mind cannot even conceive of this infinite space. So as you are witnessing your life from this viewpoint, from this feeling of understanding that no matter what is happening in one detail of your life, everything is working out perfectly. And this event, this circumstance, this happening, this emotion, this thought, is but one tiny thread in the beautiful tapestry that is the life that you are creating on this planet. And an interesting and rich and vibrant tapestry requires all of the colors, requires the bright, requires the soft, requires the vibrant and exciting, requires the dark. And so when you can see your life from this viewpoint, when you can see all of existence from this place of all knowing, all seeing, all understanding, you are able to fully immerse yourself in the details and the drama and the intensity of this human life, experiencing all of the range of human emotion, experiencing all of the range of experience, here on this plane, while at the same time understanding that this is only a brief moment in time and that the, the pain, the grief, the sadness, the sorrow, any of the seemingly unwanted parts of this moment in time are necessary for the tapestry that you are weaving. And so you can hold yourself in this space of being and feeling everything that is happening now with the total understanding that you are mortal, you are divine. You are all knowing, all seeing, and that everything is working out exactly as it should. So you're never 
lifting yourself away or out of or avoiding the experiences of humanity, but you are using this wisdom, this immortal feeling and knowing to milk the beauty and appreciation out of all of your life experiences, no matter what their color, no matter what their flavor. And take just a moment to memorize this feeling of being omniscient of being all powerful, of being all present, of being absolutely, completely and forever inextricably connected to the one, to the universe, to the creator, to spirit, to God. Whatever word you choose to label the force that beats your heart, this is your divine connection. This is the feeling of peace and serenity and knowing that you have the power to embrace in every single moment of your day. When you feel very, very secure, when you feel as if you've memorized this feeling, you've memorized the view from here, you've absorbed this understanding of your omniscience, Allow yourself to flow, slowly float back towards Earth. Witness the planet getting larger and larger and larger as you are floating gently back towards the Earth, towards your continent, towards your country, towards your region, your state, your neighborhood, your street your home or the building that you're in, back to the room that you're in, witnessing the beautiful body that is yours, allowing yourself to settle back in and your viewpoint to return to what you see through these amazing human eyes, what you feel with this amazing human body, what you hear with your ears, what you taste and smell and hear. Embrace the wonder and the right now-ness of all of your senses. This beautiful body is your gift to use your five senses to experience this amazing planet that you are on, this amazing life experience that you are having, and that you get to celebrate in every single moment this omniscient being occupying this beautiful, incredible, and wise human body in perfect harmony with the beautiful mind that can think things up, that can figure things out, that can remember things, that can form images, that is your team player, that is alongside your infinite spirit on this beautiful human journey. As we take our three deep breaths together to close out this ceremony, to close out this meditation, use these breaths to experience the unity of mind, body, and spirit, and the harmony, and the working in tandem as the powerful co-creator that is who you are in this brief time, in this human journey. Beautiful spirit, beautiful mind, beautiful body, an amazing team that's creating this beautiful life according to your vision, according to your choice, according to your desire. Your first breath in. breath in. And release. And 
magical third breath in. And release. Great Spirit, we celebrate our connection with one another and with you and with all that is. We embrace the wonder of being empowered, of being divine. We embody these messages of being powerful creators, always capable of choosing the path of love, of compassion, of collaboration, and of cooperation of expansion of spirit. And together we say yes and thank you. And so it is a namaste. Okay, and gently, as it feels good to you, open your eyes and return to the present moment. And we were meant to be only 30 minutes, so we have gone over that time, and I do apologize. Um, thank you for staying with me to the end, and welcome to the sunrise in the Western Hemisphere, or the Northern Hemisphere, and um, I just love you so much. I hope to see you back here next week, which will be our last gathering in this location before we are moving off to Costa Rica and um, having our divine gatherings on Monday mornings whenever possible from there and from sacred places all over the world. Um, again, be sure to click the follow button or the like button. Your donations are always deeply appreciated and received with great love and gratitude. And I look forward to seeing you again on Monday. Thank you, Delina. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Ari, Ari Avashin and Manuela. Awesome. I love you all so much. Mwah.